There is the cube. Ah, oh, there is so pretty. Hey, you can have the cube. It's mine. I am lucky, ruler of Asgard, and you don't even have a face. No, it is mine, 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 mine. Well, you can't have it anyway because the humans have taken it. You failed me yet again, Loki. You are failing. Oh, man, kids. What up, big kids? Here's your big review of the Marvel Cinematic Universe Phase 1 Avengers Assemble 10 Disc 6 Movie Collection said, Woo! The box that it comes in is this nice box that shows all the characters from the Avengers. Very awesome. Has an exclusive first look at Iron Man 3 and Phase 2. Woo! Uh, so it's the Marvel Cin uh, Cinematic Universe Phase 1 Avengers Assemble. Limited edition 10 disc, a 6 movie collection includes motion activated glowing Tesseract. And it has all these movies. All the Blu-ray movies you get is Iron Man, Iron Man 2, Incredible Hulk. But then on Blu-ray and Blu-ray 3D you get Thor, Captain America, and the Avengers. Back here talks about uh, everything you get in the set. All the sh security cl clearance files, shield files you get. The glowing Tesseract case. Um talks about shows all the movies in their cases right here and talks about all the movies uh, in a brief little description even has a little try me button on the top that glows it's time for the avengers to assemble on blu-ray and here we got the case for the six movie box set looks very very awesome it definitely looks like the briefcase on here uh let's take a closer look at it and open it up casing looks just like how it did in the movie of course it's made out of plastic you know can you hear it it has the shield logo which this will light up here sec it's very awesome you know you can even see it's trying to be completely movie accurate i think it's not fully the scale it might be um i don't know i think it looks seems a little bit smaller than it did in the movie that's what the bottom of the case looks like or one side of it what's cool about this is that one it does have the handle that does pop out like that so you can carry this around it doesn't give you that much room to hold it uh, like you can't fully put your fingers around it at least my fingers aren't fat at all or anything but yeah you can see here you got the Avengers logo which you will press it and will activate lights and then the little um, snaps that will uh, hold the casing in let me show you the light up so once you press the Avengers logo on top it lights up a nice blue effect you can see when it's more darker it shows up it's not that bright of a light at all but uh cool nonetheless now let's open up the briefcase and show you what's inside so you just simply very easy you just pull this uh, up a little bit and then open it up and oh my gosh now before i get into what's in the case you get these instruction manual tells you about like the transportation case the tesseract cube tells you that they all include batteries but then how to place it detail is very nice on this can see here it has all the electronic uh, devices and that orange detail here it has a keypad for the security thing can't really press it but still very nice um, these sections where you hold all of your uh, six movies which is very awesome and then um, the little uh, file cards and everything is held together with this nice Avenger uh, kind of like file holder of course we got the Tesseract right there um, which I'll show more of but yeah very nice detail it's just all plastic you know but still it looks very movie accurate it'd been cool if this lit up here but there is a blue light underneath here that you can see that will light up this cube it doesn't light up here and it doesn't stay in together that much like I would like it to but yeah I mean still it's very cool before i show all the files let me show you each of these movies on this side you get starting with the first you get iron man uh, each of these um is just the single disc they're pretty much just the movie um and special features that we've gone before they have a little bio about each uh each character of course you can see right there i do like the art a lot it is really cool you got iron man one you know you know, in the Jericho suit. Then you got Incredible Hulk. Of course, this is uh, the Hulk uh, Blu-ray. There's no DVDs or digital copies. Unfortunately, I've been nice if they had them. But um, like I said, I love the art. Got the Hulk right here. Then we got um, Iron Man 2, War Machine, um, a Blu-ray and special features. Even though that was a two disc, 
that came out. Same with both of them. Most of these movies were to this during the time, but uh, they can find their... On this one is the Shield, Avengers, and this is the big one. Those just pretty much bonus features for all six of the movies, like the Avengers and everyone. Anything they couldn't fit on the single disc. And the only real added thing is that um, there's a little introduction by Coulson of each of the movies. Um, and they talk about the shawarma scene. But uh, nothing, anything the big. There is a big thing. If you go online, which I'll talk about in a bit, where you will see like behind the scenes thing of Iron Man 3 and the Phase 2 movies, but fortunately it's not on the disc, but um, that's on that side, like you so said, you just slip it into here. And on this side, and the movies, Captain America, the first Avenger. This side is all the movies that have not only the Blu-ray, but the Blu-ray 3D. So that is cool that for people that only bought the Blu-ray versions like I did, now I have the 3D versions. Which is cool when you got Red School here. I do like that art a lot. So we got Captain America. We got Thor, which is awesome. Has both the Blu-ray and 3D ones. Very cool Loki on the throne. Then the Avengers, the big one. Now I got this movie on Blu-ray 3D. So it has all there. So all the special features and everything between all the discs. It's just, you don't miss anything. That, that was on the single to this Blu-ray releases, but yeah, there's nothing really that added besides the shawarma thing. The other goodies you get, you get this shield confidential envelope, which I open up here, and inside of it, this is the thing you'll need. You get this kind of um, decoder, Axis shield files, and you can see here, Shatari soldier right there, attacked by Shatari soldier, so uh, you'll be using this, and what's also cool, you get this little um, access code, which um, can put it in there, but it's like a little file card. You get a certificate of authenticity. Um, even though it's funny, this was supposed to come out in 2012, but it got delayed because of the lawsuit of the design of the file cards. But So that's the certificate. Then you get the shield um, security level 7. You get a shield card that's a Philip J. Coulson. Um, it has uh, fake numbers, of course, because of the 555, but this is pretty much his business card. You get a picture of the Tesseract, which would have been cool if it was like a blue, clear, um, you know, cube like it is in the movie. But, you know, I'll get to that in a bit, but nice picture, a lithograph of that in here when it was under command of Hydra. You get a little documents of the Tesseract, you know, they're really legit. You know, you get a little picture, you got Black Widow. She, uh, a personnel file. Wow. Uh, yeah, you got her widow's things, like talks about um, her little reports and it's all declassified. And you got Hank Barton, uh, Hawkeye, which is very awesome. It shows his, uh, wrist, his bow and everything. Then we got, this is a really great nod to that, uh, uh, that little um, uh, item 47 movie that's on here. You know, you should watch that. It's really funny. It's like a little short movie with uh, Lizzie Chaplin and uh, Jesse Bradford. So very cool. Uh, it talks about that. I like how it says the tactical systems number 17873. And here you got little files on each of the other Avengers. Um, you go, know, it talks about, has little writing on there and active. And this one is older because the first one here is Captain America. Whoa. You get an awesome picture just like in the movie of Steve Rogers before he became uh, the super soldier that he is. You have his uh, like little bio, bio that he was born July 1918. July 4th. <laughs> How funny. Um, it talks about he has his little apartment selective service, accessibility, how he uh, like failed and stuff, found not acceptable for indictment for active military. Um, has this notice of a fraudulent application, which I think is funny. Yeah, so has um, also his physical exam sheet, which is like really cool, like like little props in, in, in the movie. But there's more. You get this awesome drawing that Steve Rogers did of him as a monkey in Captain America. So just like on an old sheet of paper that he drew. And you also get a picture of uh, Peggy Carter that he had that he carried around with him in his watch. And last but not least, you get Captain America cards. This is cool, like what Agent Coulson got 
from that famous cover of him punching out Hitler, Ultimate Captain America concept art, and the one from his USO. So, so it's very cool. He even has little uh, bios on each of them. It's so cool. Like these are like legit cards. So awesome. Next we have Iron Man, Tony Stark Recruitment Assessment, Bill Agent uh, Romanoff. So let's see what we have in here. We got a newspaper from the Chronicle, which is looks very legit like a real newspaper. I mean, you know, it taught, shows when we saw Iron Man. Who is Iron Man? It even has the back, like you actually cut this out. You know, master plan for the train station. So very cool. Looks like a real piece of paper that you actually cut out. You got actually the plans for the Mark One armor. What's well, great, he has it in eight separate pieces, like he did in the movie. So that way the the Ten Rings couldn't figure out what he was working on. It looks like actual paper that he used in the movie. I think that's such a cool thing, you know, how that's very cool prop. I really like that. Got the actual plans for the arc reactor, and you notice here, it says Anton Vanko and Howard Stark, just like in the movie. Really nice and detailed. So freaking cool. Get a little ticket to the Stark Expo, which is $24. I even got a little VIP row one. Oh yeah. Now here's a nod to uh, the upcoming Iron Man uh, 3, which is aim events idea mechanics and uh, aldrich Achillian, which is so cool chief operating officer so that is awesome you get a freaking little uh, brochure of the stark expo that's so cool and the new york uh state fair you know grounds that's awesome and it talks about it shows the restrooms and stark enterprises the hours of operation and everything i mean so much detail. It has the napkin where it's Tony Stark said, for me at release, we no longer make weapons. Sincerely, Tony Stark. Pepper, uh, please uh, post exactly as is. <laughs> and yeah, it's actually a legit napkin that he wrote on. I mean, that is uh, so cool. And this looks to be something about the Tesseract that Tony did to figure it out. I think that's really cool that he did from uh, the Avengers. Next, we got Thor, uh, followed by Agent Coulson, subject uh, Ponte Antiguo uh, <laughs> assessment. So let's see what we got in this one. We got Thor's hospital van when he was uh, found in the hospital after Jane hit him with her truck. Very cool. It says Thor XX. <laughs> so even that's the doctor's name. Got the little sketches, which appears to be the ones that. Jane and Thor were talking about like all the different worlds. You got Jane Foster's uh, badge. If found, please drop a mailbox delivery to you. So the physics one and you can see here that she was Clover University. We got Donald Blake's uh, driver's license. You can see here his address, date of birth, 84. Um, it's New York State, so it looks like a legit driver's license. We got that energy readout that we, Jane, found out that Thor um, came out of. You can see it. We got that page from that storybook that uh, Sullivan was talking to uh, Jane about, about the Bifrost and Thor and uh, Odin and everything. So it looks like it came out of an actual book. It has Mjolnir on there. And last but not least, we got um, Dr. Bruce Banner's The Hulk, uh, followed by Agent Romanoff. Let's see what's inside here. So we got a newspaper clipping, Mysterious Incident at Clover University, which is where Jane Foster was. Cool. Uh, explosion rocks campus. So this talks about the gamma radiating explosion, major airline. So you can see it's just like real newspaper cut out. We got a crime of saying Stark Industries. Um, so a badge for Dr. Reinstein, developer. We got a letter from Nick Fury uh, talking about letting Bruce Banner go wherever uh, uh, he is. That they know where he is, but to leave him alone from like the army and stuff. Got a little letter about Betty Ross. Lecture highlights, shows a picture of Liv Tyler right there. So, cool little article about her. Got the label of the drink that uh, Bruce Banner was working at the, that discovered the gamma, uh, some of his gamma radiation blood. And we got blueprints for some plans for some, uh, that big sonic boom thing that was used to try to take out the Hulk in that university attacks. And the last bit, of course, is the Tesseract itself. Uh, it does take um, three watch batteries that you would put in here. Uh, you can see it is just pretty much a plain white plastic cube. It would have been nice if it was the blue or clear. That's one thing, it's, it's just plastic. It seems to be full-scale replica 
of it seems to be the right size so that is a good thing and it does have a light up feature so the way you will work this you just put it in the palm of your hand and you can see it does blink turn off the lights here really show this out here so you can see this have a fluttering blue effect and if you do it a few times it um will like do it in different patterns it's cool like i said it'd be nice if it was like you know, like a uh, different uh, clear blue plastic maybe. But yeah, it will stop on its own. But yeah, you know, it, it's cool. Not as uh, great as I like it to be, but I like it. Overall, this box set is the ultimate Marvel movie box set. I freaking love this case and the Tesseract, even though it would be nicer if it was like a clear uh, plastic or like blue, you know, the cube itself is a little bit disappointing, but still it is fun. I like that it lights up and the case lights up has really amazing detail the all these movies um really on the movies there's nothing new that we haven't seen except for that um phase two preview that you get that is now actually online you can check out um it's freaking awesome it shows like previews of iron man 3 thor the dark world captain america um the winter soldier which our first look at bucky which he looks awesome um guardians of the galaxy ant-man which it finally shows officially the test footage of ant-man and uh, i'm really excited for all that um the this said um is six movies on 10 discs so you are getting the 3d blu-rays of avengers captain america first uh, avenger and thor the dark world even though there's no digital copies and dvds which I won't really miss that equals to 25 bucks per movie plus you're getting the tesseract uh, replica all the all the replicas of all these different props for each of the characters is just freaking awesome like to me i think that equal is a really good value 25 bucks is how much these movies cost new and you are getting them if you're really a huge fan of the avengers iron man all these characters this is worth it even buying the, all the movies uh, again and uh, because I got this from Amazon I got the Avengers for free so I'm really only had to buy the, the five movies again and you can always like just trade those in and sell those off if you want and because you have everything that comes with with uh, these movies for the casual fan like I say if you're only a fan of one movie and just the Avengers or just Iron Man it might be a tough sale to spend that much but like I said I freaking love this thing so even with some things not being up to par to other parts i still love it and i highly recommend it for more geek news reviews podcasts and more go to bkbn.net i'm sean long member celebrate your name in a big way say to the immortals if you love hot toys side to collectibles replicas and more visit by alter ego comics.com they take these things that you mortals call paypal and major credit cards you can do thy pre-orders before hey. speaking of hot do you want a donut stupid mortal i want thy stupid Gonna be giving me a donut. Gonna be giving me a donut. Gonna be giving me a donut. I tell you, go, go down. Please don't. I still need that. This doesn't have to get any messer. Wait, why the f do you still need it? Well, in all honesty, besides powering my unstoppable army of no-name aliens, I needed at night time to keep me safe. See, I'm not a fan of the dark. Ever since my brother left, his hammer used to line up my room at night when i was scared but he just left me i don't like the dark wow for a big horny guy you sure ain't got no balls